what's going down android programmer here back with another video in this video i'm going to do a quick review of visual studios 2015 community that's the version i'm using i'm using it right now for asp.net course that i'm taking i just started using this this year prior to this i never really used visual studio so far I've been liking it you know it's a very powerful IDE probably probably the most powerful IDE out there so you definitely wanna um, try it out use it if you're gonna be doing a programming in C sharp ASP.net or um, Visual Basics I think too so definitely check it out So I'll do a little quick run through of the of the IDE. Now this is by Microsoft. This is a Microsoft IDE and this version right here is free. You can download it for free Visual Studio Community 2015. Uh, Google it. You should be able to find a website. And I believe that you can use it for free as long as um, you have less than like if you're working on something by yourself or if you got less than like a group of 10 developers or some or five I'm not for sure but I know once you if you try to make like business things or like um, commercial apps you may have to pay like a fee to Microsoft so it's not like completely open source but I heard that eventually it, they will have like an open source version so um, but um, it's a good it's a good idea so using it you have a toolbox oh, let me see. okay so right now it's just kind of frozen now I think it's a pretty fast IDE you know I don't have the fastest computer so you know these things kind of freeze up on me a little bit but it's a um, real good fast IDE come on Okay, so I'm going to open up one of my projects that I'm working on. Project Solution. We're working on a sports website for e-commerce. Still loading, preparing the solution. Alright, uh, so I got some of my stuff open that I'm working on. And to give you like a quick rundown on the um, IDE, so here is the top toolbar you got file. You can open a project, uh, create a new project, you know, some of the basic things. You got project. 
you can add a class here. Got some other things. Build solution. Debug. And then on the side, this is what you'll be using the toolbar a lot. You have your toolbar where you can use where you have access to the controls. And uh, with the files, you have a coding file and you have a design file. So okay. So this is the design file. One second. Okay. So like I was saying with these files you have a you have a design file and then you have a code file where you do your back end coding. So for this man manage logins, here's the design file. Right now it's loading the design view. And then in the design view, um, okay, here's the source view. You can you can go into the source view and add your tags, your um, like HTML or your um, C sharp tags. Then you have the design view here where you can add buttons, different things. And here's the toolbar. I believe this is kind of like a control. I, I believe it's called controls. You can like just grab it, hold the, uh, hold your mouse down, and just grab and pull over here. So it's real simple. And it's a real, you know, it's a real powerful ID that allows you to do a lot of things simply and easily. You know, to where you're not, you're not doing a whole lot of coding. So it saves you a lot of time. You can, um, with this ID, you can create websites. It has the uh, database stuff already kind of set up to where you can set up your uh, Microsoft server database and uh, what I was trying to show you is okay so here's the design file it's designed and you have the uh, the ASPX file the code so this is the coding part right here that controls everything you always have a page load method and um, other things. Now, as far as programming, you, you're pro you'll be programming in C sharp, and it's very similar to Java. So, if you have any uh, experience programming in Java, this will come easy. It'll come easy. You know, I mean, we we've, we've been doing like basic things, but as far as the programming is, I mean, it's it's simple, it's real similar to Java, except it's like less stuff than Java. So, you know, this will come easy for you. And like I said, so far I'm loving it. You know, it's a this is a real powerful IDE. This is not something you want to sleep on right here. This is you can do a lot of things with this. And if you're into like if if you make native apps like iPhone apps or Android apps they have some things where you can um where you can write the app in C sharp and you can cross publish through the other platforms. Now I don't know how good these IDE these IDEs are, but um you can use them. And I think I think one you can get that maybe connects with Visual Studio. But I didn't I, it was an add on. I could have added on when I downloaded Video Studios. I didn't add the app on because you know I didn't want to add on too much too many things but um definitely look into that if you want to cross publish your app natively you know and still keep the native code 
but other than that this is visual studio community 2015 so check it out it's a real good IDE and make sure you subscribe this is urban Pope uh, programmer I'm out